Hello everybody, Mr. E from Art with Mr. E here with you. And today we are going to take a look at the work of Henri Matisse. This is a cool book that I have. It's called How Artists See Animals by Colleen Carroll. And we are going to go to the fish section. Now Matisse was a French painter. He's one of my favorite because he used lots of color and pattern in his work. But this is called The Goldfish Bowl. And one of the reasons I want us to use this as our inspiration for today's project is because it pushes us to create a three-dimensional type of form here. We have a cylinder, see the oval, oval, and then connected with a line, line. It also gives us the added challenge of trying to create glass in our picture. Now this artwork was the, also the inspiration for another piece by the artist Roy Lichtenstein. Roy Lichtenstein was a, a pop artist and he created his version. It's called Goldfish Bowl 2. <laughs> but once again we see oval, oval, line, line. All right, so how do we do that? Well, we need our paper and our pencil. I'm gonna start with my name. In case it's amazing and it sells for a million dollars, you wanna make sure you have your name on it. So we're gonna to go towards the top of our paper and create an oval. Just do your best. I know that sometimes it's hard to get a real nice shape and we're doing it twice and I know that can be tricky as well. So oval, oval. If it's not perfect, don't worry, mine's not perfect either. Now you can either use a ruler or a piece of paper or some kind of straight edge to connect or if you just want to do it free-handed. But you want to go on the very outer edge of your oval and draw down to the very outer edge of your oval down at the bottom. All right. Now, is it perfect? No. But it's cool. And we have that nice cylinder shape. Cylinders, think of like a soda can or a can of green beans or corn. Those are all cylinder shapes. A lot of our glasses and mugs are also cylinder shapes. All right, so once we've done that, we're gonna create a line for our fishbowl uh, to have like a table to sit on. We don't want it floating in the air, right? So we're gonna draw a line up here towards the top of the fishbowl. Now I'm going on either side and drawing my line and I'm pushing, you know, kind of a normal amount of pressure. But when I go through the glass, I want to go very lightly. Okay? When we look through glass, the water in the angle of the glass distort some of the colors and the shapes and lines. So I want to do that very lightly because I don't want it to be the same as outside of the glass. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> now, you can put things into your fish bowl to give your fishy fish a little bit of a interesting place to be. There are all kinds of cool stuff. If you've ever been to a pet store and looked in the fish, fish section, they have all kinds of amazing things that you can create a habitat for your fish to live in that is beautiful and fun and interesting for your fish. If you want to draw little castles or treasure chests or just put some seaweed in, that's up to you. You decide, okay? Because this is your picture, so I want you to do it your way. You can add your things that you find interesting into it.
It'd be boring if our pictures all looked exactly the same, wouldn't it? Our fish would be bored too. <laughs> we want to make some interesting places for them to be. Now, on the bottom of the fish bowl, I'm going to put some gravel rock type formations. They sell all kinds of amazing things at the store. Sometimes it is plastic and can be the color of a highlighter. I've seen like highlighter yellow and blue and pink, really bright kind of faux rocks. They also have painted rocks that they put in. Now, if you notice, I'm trying to overlap where part of the rock goes underneath another rock because we don't want to put them all by themselves. That's really not how a bottom of a fish tank looks but we're filling up that bottom oval shape with our rock. So if your, rock, if your oval shape wasn't quite perfect, look, we're kind of covering up. You won't even notice. But we want to make sure that we fill that whole bottom oval with our rocks and our fake plants or anything else that you want to put in your fish's habitat. And a habitat is a place where something lives. All right, so that looks pretty cool. Now you can put a couple fish in here. If you want to just put one fish in there, it's up to you. Now fish kind of like to hide sometimes by their plants. The last fish I had didn't, he was real friendly. He was swimming around and he'd come right up to you whenever you came over by his tank, anytime you came up to his tank. His name was Bob Ross the fish. <laughs> so I'm just going to put the one fish in there. And then what you're going to do is create two different type of patterns. One pattern for the table, one pattern for the wall behind. All right. So I'm going to do a diagonal pattern. I need to follow my pattern. But once again, do it lightly. Oops. I want to take my diagonal line up on the wall. And I'm not afraid to have the line be a little bit wonky or wiggly looking. Because once again, when, it, when you've got the water and the glass, it distorts the line a little bit. That means it kind of makes it look different. Okay. And if you're not sure what I'm meaning, take a glass and hold it up, a glass full of water and hold it up and look through it. Maybe look at your mom or dad or brother, sister, auntie, whoever's around, your puppy dog. <laughs> look at them through the glass and see how it kind of changes the way they look. All right. So we want to make sure we're drawn large. See, it's nice and big, bigger than my hand. And then I would suggest coloring this with either crowns or color pencils. I think that might be work out the best. Let me show you some examples of ones I've been working on. So here is one. Um, inside the fish tank, you can, like the actual objects inside, like the fish, the fake plants, the rocks, color with a normal pressure. But if you notice here on the outside of the glass on the table, I pushed a little bit harder, got a darker brown. But when it came into the glass, I got lighter. Once again, the glass and the water distort a little bit. So this kind of helps give that illusion of, hey, we're looking through glass. All right. And here is a finished one for you to see. 
So I just push lighter on all of these. And then I use a black to kind of outline my glass so it shows up a little bit better. And one of the other things I did was I went back and I added another oval inside and made that look like it's the water, like the water comes up here because your water wouldn't come all the way to the very tippy tippy top. So I just put it up to here. So that's the water line. So you're drawing another oval, third oval. Okay. And you can do that after you draw the first, second oval and the two lines. And then you can come back in and add your third oval. All right. So just color it, make it look awesome. All right, friends, I can't wait to see your work. Have fun making your very own fish tank. Bye-bye now.